the Great Crater of Paldea, a photograph from the survey team's point of ingress to the crater, which is visible in the background. Luck favored us with fine weather, making for a smooth outset. But clouds obscured the crater's distant depths, where the treasure of legend is said to lie. Now, onward and downward. The Adventure into Area Zero Within the great crater of Paldea lies the mysterious Area Zero, a place home to such landscapes, such plant life, and such Pokémon as we had never seen. It is inhospitable to human life, and as such, I suspect something altogether unknown to humankind sleeps in its depths. A photograph of a spot where the survey team rested on day two of the expedition. Note the strange symbols inscribed in the ground here. Were they left by explorers in the time of the Paldean Empire, or could they be older still? Regardless, they seemed as if they must hold some meaning. Area Zero, Cartograph. Ledges form a spiral down the inner walls of Area Zero, offering a path of descent. Vegetation and sources of water are here as well. Legends tell that precious stones or wondrous fruits have long slept in Area Zero's depths, protected by some manner of guardian. Pokémon of Area Zero, sketches by a survey team member. Surprisingly, the Pokémon species we observed in the upper strata of Area Zero seemed little different from those seen outside the crater. Now and then, we heard unfamiliar cries from the lower strata. Monsters of Area Zero, as we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokémon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokémon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokémon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Herba Mystica, Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokémon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these, Titan Pokémon. Mysterious Plates During our descent into Area Zero, we came across a buried metal plate inscribed with a strange symbol. We attempted to shave off a piece of the plate but failed to leave even a scratch. Even determining the nature of the metal seems beyond modern science. We know not why the inscription was made, let alone how. The Legendary Treasure Countless days into our descent, we reached at last the very depths of the Great Crater. There we found a cave with formations of gemstone, shining blindingly bright as far as we could see. Perhaps that strange light itself is the Guardian said to watch over treasure deep within the crater. An imagined Pokémon, a drawing of a fantastical Pokémon as envisioned by our sketch artist. The compactness and cruelty of the strange Pokémon that dwell in Area Zero's lower reaches tickled the artist's imagination, prompting this sketch of what other species that inhabit these depths might look like. A phantom memory. During our exploration of Area Zero's depths, I, Heath, strayed from the team and was later found unconscious. When awoken, I could only recall speaking with someone in an unfamiliar place, as if in a dream. I was found holding the page shown here. The handwriting is my own, but I have no memory of writing this. Our generous sponsor, the author, Heath, pictured with the director of UVA Academy. The Academy's generous funding made the Area Zero expedition possible, and the data gathered has been shared with the Academy in hopes that it will aid in the institution's research work and foster future generations of scholars and scientists. About the author, Heath, author of The Violet Book, shown here with his partner Cyclozar. A natural historian as well as a writer, he was chosen for the Area Zero expedition and penned this account upon returning from the great crater of Paldea. Cyclozar aided the expedition as well by bearing the team's luggage and equipment. A disc Pokémon, while separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokémon, or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious brilliant disc.